we all aim that by 2022, we give every family in our republic access to affordable health care. These announcements cemented continued support of the government to improve access to primary care. His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta identifying universal health coverage as a key pillar of social economic development. With free maternal care program launched in 2013, M-Wallet, which enables expectant mothers to receive money to cover the cost of accessing maternal and newborn services, and telemedicine, which uses video conferencing to consult, Kenya is at a prime moment in history and can lead the way toward achieving universal health coverage. We have very few specialists. We have very few that cannot go around the whole country. Now, if we want, we cannot take all of them to those people, then we can bring the people to them. This being significant and perhaps the most important strategic priority if you put into consideration that every year over a million Kenyans get trapped into poverty because of a catastrophic out-of-pocket payments due to health reasons. Gertrude's Hospital receives a call 400 kilometers away from Dadab Sub-County Hospital, Garissa County. Good hey, morning. A distraught and helpless Rukia Waku managed to book an appointment with a specialist, Dr. Pretson Mukwana, a pediatrician. The young baby Hassan writhes in pain as the middle-aged woman tenderly soothes him, heavy with hope that this teleconsultation is going to be a fruits, even as the camera roves around the fragile boy's body. Yeah, that is, uh, it's, uh, we'll talk about that, it's not something major. Dr. Muhuana is using telemedicine program that enables patient consultation with specialists in referral hospitals to help in quicker, earlier diagnosis and provision of better quality care. I think so far so good because uh, we've been able to demonstrate that we can use technology to reach very remote areas and offer uh, specialist services. Most of the specialist doctors are located only in the major cities like Nairobi, making them inaccessible to the common person in the village. Therefore, adoption of telemedicine using equipments like a camera, headphone and a computer with the necessary software can be instrumental in enabling healthcare providers to reach more patients without incurring transport or relocation costs. Uh, you can imagine somebody moving from Garissa all the way to Nairobi to seek uh, specialist care, okay? The transport, the time spent, okay? They could actually be more productive. Okay? With Kenya's doctor-to-patient ratio standing at 1 to 17,000 against the recommended World Health Organization ratio of one doctor for every 1,000 patients, this platform that was introduced in Dadaab in 2017 with support from the UK aid-funded County Innovation Challenge Fund that aims to reduce maternal and newborn mortality in Kenya is making specialized health services affordable to mothers and children in far-flung areas and may just be the much-needed shot in the arm for the ailing Kenyan healthcare. Hey. A patient's medical history, details and reference will already be in the database. Children can also be assessed on wellness, identifying any possible gaps on immunization. Real-time teleconsultation with help from a clinical officer on the other hand. If you want to look at the ear, I would be able to see. Just the picture you've seen on the video camera, is you can see how clear it is. Eh? Yeah, so I'm able to focus on where I think the issue is. Baby Hassan, who was diagnosed with cerebral palsy at birth due to delayed labor, has not shown any improvement and hence needed the specialized care of Dr. Muhuana, as Kevin Amudavi, the clinical officer stationed at Dadab, explains. Dr. Muhuana finishes his first session and gives the diagnosis advising Amudavi on what prescription to give baby Hassan for a faster recovery. And give it orally, you don't need to give it IM because there are risks associated with IM. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, your child can hyperventilate and you, are, you will not be able to support. Eh? A busy day it is at this telemedicine site. Another patient next online. Yeah, yeah, we are ready. This baby is called Farhan Abdi Diyat. 
And when teleconsultation begins, fragile baby Abdi cannot hold the excruciating pain any longer. He lets out a sharp cry that pierces the relatively quiet room. Oh. Amudavi lopes in the dock on the symptoms baby Abdi has been showing for the last few weeks and the medications the baby has been on. What cannot escape the ear is the language barrier. <laughs> His state of acute malnutrition does not make it any easier for the one and a half year boy. Abdi's story is typical of many children in most rural Kenya. For his case and those around Adab, the lack of access to quality health care is worsened by persistent drought. This technology has the potential to change the way healthcare is delivered in the world, and in Kenya particularly, as it can enable service providers deliver better and coordinated healthcare to most communities and population that the current health services cannot reach. What technology is doing is probably making it easier, okay, for one to reach uh, people remotely. However, despite these benefits, there are several challenges to the successful deployment of telemedicine that must be addressed by healthcare organizations exploring the potential adoption of this technology. Yeah, so as much as one is able to reach them, okay, and offer that advice based on the presentation, the actual intervention sometimes is still, is still a very big challenge. Apart from the challenges associated with giving services, there are also those related with the system and its performance. When the network fluctuates, then sometimes the communication link is cut and we have to start the process all over when the communication sets up. And also from the sites that I have mentioned, sometimes the people at those sites don't probably know how to operate the equipment well. Their approach has produced remarkable results. The successful beneficiary now over 60, the clinicians back in the clinics and the specialists at the facilities being the cornerstone of this ingenious solution. Uh, the fact that they are able to talk to you and see you, you are able to listen to their problem, that really impresses them. The future of medicine with the introduction of technology is getting a new surge which seems to be a shift from the chaotic start to something more comprehensive. But how sustainable is it? There are, we are in negotiation to find a way of providing this connectivity as a, at a very affordable cost. If that is taken care of, then we are sure that for a long period of time, this service will be offered in the facilities and we will not have a challenge. The next phase of the initiative will involve expansion to other county hospitals with Dr. Muhuana and Olivia, the project manager, hoping that other hospitals may follow suit to provide e-consultation services. Anybody who is able to afford to do this should do this because technology is sweeping across the globe and everything is getting to another level. So healthcare is getting to another level with technology and this is a very efficient and good technology that is going to help us be able to reach wide to reach people in the farthest corners we are going to take care of distance we are going to take care of time covered we are going to take care of quality of health care when we adopt this technology the commitments kenya makes in the health of its people now will serve as a point of reference for the rest of africa for years to come especially if it is successful Despite the challenges witnessed, telemedicine has the potential of achieving quality care with hospitals like Gertrude leading the way. Quality health care, which is one of the big four agendas, is likely to be achieved. Omo Nyango, reporting for Talk Health on KUTV, Nairobi.